Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Attleboro Mayor Kathleen DeSimone is looking for residents who may be interested in serving on one of the many city boards and commissions. We spoke with her to learn more. My name is Kathleen DeSimone. I am the mayor of Attleboro, and I'm happy to talk with you today about all the various boards and commissions the city has, these volunteer boards and commissions, which are extremely important in many different ways, from planning to a Disabilities Commission, Human Rights Commission, Conservation Commission. These are the folks who do a lot of work in the city and often go unrecognized, uh, but the work's really important and we're constantly looking for new folks and more diverse folks to volunteer, to get better informed opinions and new ideas. You can find them on the city website under boards and commissions, and they vary in terms of obviously what they do, size, length of term, et cetera, and the nature of the work. So some folks are particularly interested in ha things having to do with zoning and planning. So you could be on the zoning uh, board of appeals or the planning board. Some folks may want to be more involved with what's going on with the environment in some of our conservation areas. So that's the conservation commission. Uh, there's the youth commission for younger kids trying to get them involved. There's the um, historical commission. There's the human rights commission, the disability commission. So if there's an issue that's important to people um, that they're, they're concerned about, whether for themselves or others or they have experience with, there's usually a board or a commission um, for them. And they can be fine there found on the website. They do vary in terms of what the terms are. The general process is you reach out to me or the mayor's office express your interest in the board. If the mayor appoints you, then you go down to the uh, municipal council for confirmation. So it's a two-step process. And then you have to be sworn in by the city clerk. And then some boards meet once a week, every other week, once a month, for the most part. Um, I, was, I know I was a member on the library board for a long time. And we met once a month, not during the summer. Um, so it really depends what your interests are, but it's really important. Um, there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done, and I can't do it alone, the council can't do it alone, so the boards and commissions really inform what we do. And it's a great way to get more diversity of opinion and thinking and new ideas. In terms of qualifications, I believe most of the boards and commissions would be 18 or above. The Youth Commission is obviously younger for kids in school, um, but most of the boards and commissions would be 18 and above. No particular expertise, although some boards and commissions, they may want you to have some familiarity with the subject matter. But to some degree, I'm more interested in people who are willing to serve and willing to learn. We've had people who have been serving for a long time on a particular board or commission. We've got people who have been on one board, switched to another board. Um, but mostly it's interest in serving in an open mind. Speaking for myself and, and I think my predecessors, you want people who don't necessarily come in with an agenda, but just want to do the right thing and ultimately do what's in the best interest of the city, following the ordinances and rules and regulations and the laws and applying those fairly and appropriately. That's what's really important at the end of the day.